Have you ever wondered about the end times and how global events might just be leading us there? The concept of end times is a fascinating one, isn't it? It's a topic that has captured the imaginations of people from every corner of the globe, from the earliest civilizations to our modern society. It's been woven into the fabric of many cultures, religions, and philosophies, each offering their unique perspective on how the final chapters of our existence might unfold. From the biblical perspective, the end times are often depicted as a period of great tribulation, filled with signs and portents that would herald the approach of the final judgment. There's talk of wars and rumors of wars, of famine, pestilence, and earthquakes in various places. On the other hand, the scientific community offers a different viewpoint. Scientists speculate about the different ways our world could meet its end, from the expansion of the sun into a red giant swallowing the earth, to the possibility of a rogue black hole disrupting our solar system, or even the eventual heat death of the universe itself. Of course, it's not all doom and gloom. There are those who see the end times not as an end, but as a transition, a metamorphosis into a new era, an era of enlightenment, peace, and unity among all living beings. But the one common thread that runs through all these perspectives is the uncertainty. The uncertainty of when the end times will come, how they will come, and what they will entail. It's this uncertainty that makes the concept of end times so intriguing, so captivating. After all, who doesn't love a good mystery? But it's more than just a mystery. It's a puzzle waiting to be solved, a riddle waiting to be unraveled. And perhaps, just perhaps, by examining the progression of global events, we could find the clues that will help us solve this puzzle, unravel this riddle. With the uncertainty of the end times in mind, let's delve into the progression of global events. Global events, whether they be natural disasters, pandemics, or wars, have a significant impact on our world. But could they be leading us to the end times? Let's take a step back and delve into the annals of history to understand this better. Consider the 20th century, a time that witnessed two world wars. These cataclysmic events not only reshaped geopolitical boundaries, but also left an indelible mark on the collective human psyche. The aftershock of these wars led to the Cold War, a silent but deadly battle of ideologies that threatened to annihilate the world with nuclear weapons. Fast forward to the turn of the millennium. The world grappled with the horror of global terrorism, epitomized by the events of September 11th. This new form of warfare brought fear and insecurity into our living rooms, making the world a more volatile place. In parallel, we have seen an alarming increase in natural disasters. Devastating earthquakes, tsunamis, and hurricanes have become more frequent and intense over the years. The world is still reeling from the impact of these calamities, which have claimed countless lives and caused unprecedented damage to our planet. Then came the pandemics, with the H1N1 influenza in 2009 and the coronavirus in 2019 causing global havoc. These health crises have not only led to the loss of millions of lives, but have also exposed the fragility of our healthcare systems and economies. All these events have undoubtedly shaped our world, pushing us towards a reality that was once only the stuff of dystopian fiction. The frequency and intensity of these global events have been steadily increasing, suggesting a progression towards a climax, the end times. Now that we've seen how global events have shaped our world, we can begin to connect them to the concept of the end times. How does one connect global events to the end times? Is there a pattern, or is it all just chaos and coincidence? This question has intrigued and puzzled humanity for centuries. Attempting to connect these dots is like trying to complete a vast and intricate jigsaw puzzle, where each piece represents a global event, and the final picture may depict the end times. There are plenty of theories that attempt to make this connection. Some suggest that wars, natural disasters, and political turmoil are not random occurrences, but rather, they are the dominoes lined up in a grand design, leading us closer to the end. They interpret these events as the fulfillments of ancient prophecies, the signs of the end times as foretold in religious texts. On the other hand, there are those who view these global happenings as mere coincidences, 
the result of natural and human-driven processes. They argue that every era has had its share of wars, calamities, and crises, and it's only our human nature to seek patterns and meanings where none exist. In their perspective, the end times are not a predestined event, but a potential outcome of our actions and decisions. Between these contrasting viewpoints, there's a middle ground. Some propose that while global events may not follow a fixed pattern, they are interconnected in ways we are yet to fully understand. They believe that our world is a complex system, and every event, no matter how small, has ripple effects that can potentially impact the entire system. We also encounter theories that blend elements of science, philosophy, and spirituality, suggesting that our collective consciousness can influence global events and, in turn, the course of our future. They propose that we, as a species, have the power to shape our destiny and perhaps even avert the end times. The task of connecting these dots may seem daunting, but it's an essential part of understanding our world and its potential future. So, whether you view these global events as signs of the end times, mere coincidences, or parts of a larger interconnected system, it's worth exploring these theories and their implications. After all, understanding our past and present is the key to unlocking our future. So, what have we learned so far about the end times and global events? We've taken a deep dive into the realm of uncertainty that surrounds the end times. We've seen how the air of mystery and the unknown can fuel speculation and theories, some more grounded than others. But one thing is clear. The end times is a topic that provokes thought, stirs emotions, and sparks conversations. We then shifted gears to focus on the progression of global events. We've seen how the world has evolved, how events have unfolded in ways that sometimes seem too coincidental to be random. We've explored the concept of cause and effect on a grand scale and how seemingly unrelated happenings might just be interconnected in a vast, intricate web of global occurrences. We've connected those dots, piecing together the puzzle of global events and their potential ties to the end times. We've looked at the evidence, analyzed the patterns, and dug beneath the surface to uncover links that might otherwise have remained hidden. We've seen how understanding these connections can provide us with a broader perspective on the world and its future. But why does this matter? Why should we care about these connections and the potential implications for the end times? Well, it's all about preparedness. It's about equipping ourselves with knowledge and understanding to navigate the uncharted waters of the future. It's about being able to face whatever may come with insight and clarity, rather than fear and uncertainty. So, as we wrap up our discussion, let's not forget the importance of this quest for understanding. Let's continue to delve into the mysteries of the world, to question, to explore, and to connect the dots. Because the more we know, the better prepared we'll be for whatever the future holds. While the future remains uncertain, understanding the world and its events helps us prepare for whatever may come. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and most importantly, Keep connecting the dots.